Okay, take two. It is Wednesday, November 18th, uh, Wednesday afternoon, uh, KIT's Izuka campus. Uh, this is English 8D, and I will now move over to my screen share here, which is this one. And there we go. Okay, there are a few important things that we have to do today uh, after uh, we finish this English explanation, which I'll recap in Japanese when we're done. The most important thing is that next week, okay, after this week, is your midterm test. Now, I thought of this test initially when I was told that the, probably this class will have about maybe 10, 12 students. But as you can see, it's much smaller than that. And the actual number of students that are coming have been much less. So we haven't really been able to practice as much as I would like in the way that I hoped to prepare you for what I thought would actually be uh, a group conversation. I don't think we'll be able to do this properly because the dynamic just isn't there. Uh, for whatever reason, people have not been able to come consistently. And without that kind of consistent kind of group feel, uh, it will be very hard for you to have a fair test in this. So in terms of the midterm test, what I want to do is actually talk to you. I want to ask you your opinion on what you think will be a good test. Now, there are a lot of things that we could do on the test. And I'll just uh, look at them really, really quickly. We could do just basically, whoops, sorry, a Moodle quiz. And a Moodle quiz, as you've already done in classes with me or in other classes, will have vocabulary, uh, vocabulary questions. You can have some grammar questions that are based on what we actually did in the textbook. So that would, wouldn't be hard for me to make. I could make that within you know, a couple of days. It wouldn't be hard for me to make, but to be honest with you, I don't think that actually helps your English study. And that's why I don't like TOEIC tests. I don't think TOEIC tests help your English study. It would be relatively easy for me to make and you'd be used to it and it would be fair, but I don't think it helps your English study. So that's one option. Another option we can do is actually very similar to what you were doing before with videos. Now, there are a couple of different things we could do with that. One of them is as we did with the, um, the assignment from, I think it was last week. Yeah, right there. We could do a walking video, which you've, or, or some of you have done it. Uh, so, well, actually, no, nobody's done it yet because that's not due until next week. Uh, after the midterm test. But um, some of you probably have already done it with my class before. So we could do a walking video or we can do what I call a conversation video. So basically it, it will be like a walking video in that it's a natural conversation, no practice, you'll just have a topic, okay? but I would want you to set up a computer that can see two people, this person and this person in the same camera. And I would tell you the topic and you would have a conversation for five minutes. That's one idea, but also what is your idea? So I mentioned this to you guys uh, last week and I would like to hear your ideas before. Uh, we go on, but those are some of the ideas that I can suggest to you. Uh, don't mind that line there. Uh, those are some of the things that we can do. And what else uh, you guys can offer. Okay, let's get back to uh, today's work. So that was the walking video that we did before. Now today, okay, I want to do a little bit of shadow talking and a little bit, oops, and a little bit of the Quizlet work that we have there, if we have time, okay? Uh, after that, I want to remind you that you have a vocabulary quiz that will be due on, oh, wow, okay. This is wrong, it's not December 8th. I'll make sure that uh, I'll change that around. I get these wrong 
sometimes. Sorry about that. But that vocabulary quiz will not be due on December 8th. It will be due sometime before the midterm test. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess that's it because I didn't give you much more in terms of homework before uh, the test. So after we do the shadow talking, a little bit of Quizlet, I want to uh, also show you a little bit more about how to use uh, online digital tools like AI, DeepL, uh, Grammarly, uh, those tools to help you learn how to study English reading and English speaking and basically your English uh, by yourself. Okay, and maybe I hope we can have a conversation in English, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so if you have any questions about any of this, uh, please contact me at jdmcruise at gmail.com. Otherwise, uh, everybody, let's have a good class.